The industries that are moving most aggressively to tablets are those that are tend to be form-based. So insurance, healthcare, uh, certain types of military and government uh, facilities are going pretty heavily with tablets. And the fo folks that are moving much more slowly are those that may be much more traditional, uh, where they're mostly living off Word Office, uh, engineering organizations and the rest, where they're not getting the performance out of the tablets they need to make the difference. However, that last may be changing because increasingly all-in-one and portable all-in-one computers and we now have a class of gaming tablets coming to market that might have the, the performance they need for engineering apps. And a lot of engineering apps can be pen enabled and actually be much better. So CAD, CAM and the rest where you can actually draw on, circle and adjust with touch or a stylus uh, can be much more powerful actually with a better tablet that supports those features. I recently talked to several construction companies about what they're doing with mobile, and one of them actually said that mobile was actually bringing them out of the dark ages. Uh, they now have the ability to use wireless routers on site. Their people are now using tablets, and they've got computing on the go. They just stick an OtterBox cable on them. Really interesting creative examples of what they can do, uh, tracking supply chain, automatically updating when buildings are going to be constructed based on that. Uh, basically using uh, 3D imaging and uh, being able to swipe and say, okay, here's what the different layers of a building uh, use, and even combining that with mobile printing. Retail is a great example of where um, the companies are now deploying tablets or smartphones to put them in the hands of their workers so that they can actually be in the aisles but still productive. If somebody asks them a question, they can look up inventory, they can order product, they can actually um, consult with somebody about what's available and what might be complementary to products they're already doing. They can even do mobile point of sale. It's really fundamentally changing the customer experience in retail because it allows people to stay with the customer at all points in time and give them exactly the information they need. Uh, regardless of the industry, I think one of the things we've really seen is that most people are looking at tablets are really only adapting a few of their applications, right? If you look at a business, most businesses literally have hundreds of applications. Not every individual user has hundreds, but across the company, there are hundreds of applications. And each user's probably got 10, 20 business-related apps. And what we're finding is that people who are moving to tablets are moving two, three of those applications. So maybe only 10, 20% of the total apps that the individual needs to run. The other portion, you still end up needing to run you know, in a traditional Windows environment, typically. So that's the challenge that we see is that there is that balance. So regardless of the industry, you've got those issues at, at play.